In this video we'll cover the setup of CentOS for VTagger. We'll start from scratch, meaning that the CentOS is out of the box, no MySQL web server or PHP. So let's get started first. Let's do an update and update the OS as well as the sources. We'll download all the extensions for the server. So by typing in command yum update it will then connect and start the update. Well, if there's nothing to be updated, then uh, we'll install MySQL, which will be just yum install, and then we hit yes to proceed. It takes a few seconds. And as soon as the install is complete, we need to start the MySQL and set the password. To start the MySQL, we'll just go to the directory and MySQL start. The MySQL started successfully, and now we have a command to set the password. So whatever you put in, in the password, it will then set the root password. So I'll just copy and paste and all set. Next we need to install the web server. To do so we'll use this command. Again it'll take a few seconds. Is that okay? You hit yes and done. Now since we have the MySQL and the web server we need to install PHP and all of its extensions and components. I am install PHP. Yes. Let's take a few seconds. Again, PHP has been completed. Now we'll install all the needed extensions for VTiger. Those are listed right here. And it's going to take, again, a few seconds. And it's done. Now the third-party extension for the ion cube is needed because most of the VTiger vendors use ion cube to encrypt their extensions so to do so we will just take this link download the folder it'll take a few seconds to download next step is to unzip the file by typing unzip ion cube Enter. It looks like we need to install the zip in order to extract it. Hit yes. And then we should be able to unzip it. Nope. Looks like we need to unzip. So yum install unzip. Hit enter. And then confirm yes. And Looks like the unzip is here, and then we'll unzip ion cube, and here we go. So this is PHP 5.3, which means we need the 5.3 extension. So this is where it's at, and let's see which folder we are in. So PWD gives us the folder, so we're at root. Um, so we need to now add command which will be send extension equals to this and I'll just highlight that so we have that right here. So now we need to add this to the PHP INI file and to do so PHP INI is an etc. Um, that etc for slash php and i so i'll use nano for my editor hit enter and i'll just add it at the very first line copy and paste and that's all we need hit save and it saved the php file and we'll test that to make sure that it's enabled right after we get through the entire setup now we'll exit the file uh, next, uh, we need to update the MySQL configuration file. We have few recommended variables that will help 
uh, the server to run more efficient. Um, so we need to find the file which is my config and it's usually in etc and my cnf. Um, I again use nano as a editor. Hit enter and this is what we have so far. So there are very few variables set. So what I'll do is I will just take this and copy and paste it in. Again this is for these, these are recommended values for the server with 16 gigabytes of RAM or more. Um, if you have a 2 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, just um, decide whichever works best for you. You can just use the ratio of 4 to 1 and um, you'll be fine. So then again, I'll just save this file. And my SQL has been configured. PHP and I, this, these are very important for the vTiger setup to make sure you don't have any issues while using it and you have good speed. So again, we'll go to the PHP and I file which is at etc and PHP and I. So now I need to find those variables and update them. So uh, my preferred method is control W and it allows me to type in the variable, so max execution time, hit enter, and looks like the standard and default is 30. I'll set that to 600. The next one is max input time, appears it's right here down below, so I'll just get to it. Uh, set to 600. Um, the other one, memory limit, um, 128 is enough unless you have a really large database, which you could set to 2, 52, or even 500, but for the time being, we'll leave it as is. Um, the other very important variable is max input variables. So I'll just search for that. And there's no value that represents that. So if there isn't any, then we have to just add it. So we'll just do max input bars and then set it at least five or 10,000. The standard one is 1,000, even though it's not set. But that's not enough to run vTiger. You'll usually run into issues with permissions and saving files. So once that is done, um, the next one we have the upload max file size. That one is standard at 2 megabytes, and I'm sure you'll want to upload more than 2 megabytes of files, so we will just set it to 20. And then again, we'll hit Control O to save this file. It looks like we're done, and now what I'll do is I will exit out of this file and I will restart the web server so we can confirm that all of those variables were set. So to start it, go etc, init.d, and then httpd start. So it looks like it's started. OK, so now we'll go to my web directory to create a PHP info file. So I'll go cd, uh, and this is where the root of web server is. So I'll just again create a new file. I call it php info php and then I'll just create a simple file to show us what's in the php and i configuration file to make sure that all applied properly. So hit save it and we should be all set. So then I'll go to my web server via browser put in php info that php and this is where our PHP configuration is. So the first thing is the ionCube loader has been installed. A few other extensions as IMAP and SOAP still need to be installed. And just to make sure the max input variables are at 10,000. So that pretty much covers the setup of uh, Unix server for vTiger. These are the common things you should 
set once installing it there's plenty more that you can come up with as far as securing the server and we'll cover that in the other video